Okay, so in the last episode, we added the images to the posts, and I think those ended up looking really good. So I wanted to do this episode and finish up with this uh, subtitle piece. Um, so if we go into the admin for our site, and we wanted to add this, so one of the cool things, this is kind of the cool thing, one of the cool things about Voyager is that you can add fields to... Um, to your data types, which is pretty sweet. So what we want to do is we want to add a new column. So we came into the posts da uh, database and we're going to add a subtitle. And that is not going to be a tiny integer. That is going to be a varchar. And we're going to limit it to 191 characters. And that's pretty much all we need to do. So now we're just going to say update table. Say it's got our successfully updated uh, table. So if we come back and we refresh. All right, so now we got our subtitle over here, which is cool. Uh, so now uh, we need to come in and see if we can edit our bread for it. Make sure we get the right field type for our new subtitle. Uh, so yes, that is gonna be a text and it is gonna be subtitle. And so that should be good. So let's submit that. And we come in to our posts. Let's say we just wanna edit this one. And uh, you would expect to see the subtitle here, but we don't. Uh, and if you look in the documentation, uh, you can, this should, this is kind of what, how the bread is supposed to work and you should be able to do this. So it's kind of um, weird that, you know, you can't, but it's kind of, it makes sense if you think about it. Like, so uh, Voyager ships with the posts and pages kind of content types uh, and they've kind of customized this view to look a little bit nicer than maybe like a, you know, standard, if you, if you didn't know frills, um, what you would get with the bread. So they've kind of made it a little bit nicer looking because this is kind of one of the ones that's going to come with your, um, with the package. So what I did was I looked in the, um, I did a search for this, uh, string. And you can kind of see here that there does exist in a views post edit add, but if you actually look at the documentation, there is a way to override views. And it says you just need to create uh, basically the exact same path that's this one, Voyager resources, views, posts, whatever. So we got resources, views, vendor, Voyager, well, not the same, but similar. Uh, so you just need to recreate that and then you need to have these two in order or you can overwrite either one of them if you wanted to right and that's what we're trying to do so that's what we need to do so we're going to come in we have voyager vendor voyager posts or our resources views vendor voyager and then the slug name which in this case is posts so now we want to create a new file called edit-add.blade.php. And we're gonna just kind of overwrite it. So all we really need to do is grab the contents of this one, bring it in there. And if we come back and we refresh this, well, then nothing's gonna be changed because we didn't change anything, but this is actually pulling, I think, from our newly created one here. So. What we're trying to do is add a field for our subtitle, which is basically going to be pretty similar to what the title is. So why don't we just copy that and then update some things so that we can, um, you know, so we can get something working. So we can say subtitle, subtitle for your posts. Uh, I don't know if we actually are going to need this, but we'll get rid of it. Uh, and then here we're going to say subtitle and basically we're going to update anything that said title to be subtitle, right? And if we come back here with any luck, we have now a subtitle and we need to update the placeholder to also say subtitle. Uh, and one of the things I thought was kind of interesting is like, so title and subtitle are pretty similar uh, if you ask me. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna get rid of the closing and opening of the panel. 
so that hopefully these two will be connected. Yes. And then, yeah, so that works for me. Not exactly ideal, but it, it works. So anyway, um, let's see. Uh, let's come up with like a like Laravel Voyager admin package. The missing piece to the puzzle, something like that. And if we come down, update this post. Now we can see right here we have this in our um, it's in the admin. So now if we come back to our post show and we actually probably update this here um, post subtitle and we were to come and view let's go back to the front end go back to home uh, we check here now the missing piece to the puzzle is right there so there that's pretty much all we have to do and we've already got now now we could decide to go back and put the subtitle here instead of the excerpt, excerpt but I think this kind of makes more sense to be the excerpt. Uh, generally, you would have a longer excerpt, sort of like this one. And I think I, I generally kind of like the idea of having a post title and then the excerpt to kind of like get people to click into a post. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. And then you can see here, this post doesn't have a subtitle, so it just kind of leaves an empty space which is totally fine. And that's pretty much all we need to do in order to get our subtitle showing. Now, normally with the bread, you don't have to go in and customize the view. It should do it somewhat automatically. But if you wanted to update it to do something very specific, that was kind of a very short introduction in how to do that. So anyway, that's that. And we'll move on to probably uh, getting setting these menu items uh, using the built-in menu builder. So that'll probably be the next thing we tackle. So stay tuned.